Please listen carefully. Hi guys, I'm Martina, I'm from AGF, and this is Let's Talk Fabric. In these series, you're going to find a bunch of different videos showcasing some DIY projects for the home involving fabric. Um, today we want to teach you guys how to make a knot pillow. They're very comfy, they're very easy to take with you if you have to travel for the holidays. And the best of all is like they're made out of knit, which is very soft. Um, if you guys don't know much about our knits, we have stripes, solids, and prints. Usually in each collection, you, you are going to find a few prints that do come in knits. So definitely check that out if you're interested in one of our collections and you're not sure if it does come in knit or not. Um, but today, since we already made a small and a medium one, we are going to try and make a larger one in this color. It's called Saffron and it's from our Knit Solids. So if you do want to see how this turns out and you are interested in watching more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. I'll see everybody later. Bye, thank you for watching. These are the items you're going to need. We cut 28 inches by the width of the fabric in order to make our tube longer and wider. Spread your knit fabric over your table and fold it in half. And later cut down the middle of the folded fabric. We suggest cutting the selvage to get rid of the rougher look on the edges. Once you cut the selvage and you have two individual pieces of the knit fabric, you're going to place one on top of the other one and sew right on the edge. This sewing step is meant to combine both pieces of fabric into a very long one. Now take your time and sew all along the length of the fabric. In our case, we decided to go with clips to better attach both pieces of knit fabric together. Make sure to make these stitches on the wrong side of the fabric. Stitch one end of the tube. Once you're finished with sewing your tube, Turn it inside out. Now this step is definitely the longest one. So just sit down, have fun stuffing the tube and just stuff away. For the final piece of the stuffing, we're going to stuff all up to the end of the tube. And once we're there, we're gonna push it all the way down since we want to close that end. Fold the edges in and get ready for sewing. Now we're going to stitch the second end of the tube. Evenly spread the polyfill again since remember we did push it down initially, so you want polyfill back again in those areas. Now it's the fun part, so get ready for some knotting. Let's start off with making a reverse letter P and then a normal letter P next to it. Now we're going to loop our end through our second letter P. Grab both openings of the first P and the second P and we're going to grab our end and loop it from behind. We're going to grab our first original P opening and pass it through again. Pull both ends and make sure your knot looks just like this. Flip your pillow and sew both ends together. You guys now have a knot pillow, so make sure to place it wherever you want in your room, in your bedroom or in your living room, it doesn't really matter. It makes up for a great accessory and it's amazing to pair up with other textures and designs. Hey guys, thank you for watching. If you did like this video and you would like to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel.